So sometimes when I'm in creative forums, there's always this chatter about gear and and some people always like, hey, gear doesn't matter. All that matters is the content. And they're right. But sometimes I'm like, yeah, but I still need the gear. <laughs> Boom, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you made it. We're gonna talk about gear today. My name is Arthur, so hey, let's get into it. See, the point I'm trying to make is that gear does matter, but it depends on your level of skill because it's really a question of skill versus taste. See, when you're first starting out your filmmaking journey or your creative journey, you have a lot of taste. You've got big taste, okay? That means you, you've got the taste for nice looking images, taste for nice looking channels and thumbnails, and you've got a taste for uh, having loads of subscribers and loads of followers. But the issue is your skill is here and your taste is there. Okay, so you feel like, hey, if I have the equipment these guys are using, maybe my stuff will look like No. Look, that's like saying uh, you see a really nice photograph and you're just like, man, that's a really nice camera. Not really, the camera didn't take the picture by itself, okay? You're kind of throwing shade on the photographer. It's a really nice picture because the photographer took that picture. The camera was just a tool they used to do that. Say for example, my YouTube channel, for a long time I was like, man, I need a new camera. And I'd be like, oh my days, my setup just looks terrible. <laughs> so I thought, I need a new camera. I need new gear. I need a more expensive camera than what I already have. And then my friend Jim was like, you don't need a better camera. You need a better lighting setup, okay? Sort out your lighting, buy the Godox SL60, and it will change everything, mate. So it turns out that Jim was right. Once I sorted out my lighting, it actually improved my overall image quality. My skill and lighting was here, but I thought I needed expensive gear, but what I really needed was the type of gear and here's the thing I get it sometimes when you see other creators using similar gear you think you need that too I mean when I started vlogging in 2017 I got the Joby you know I got the you know I had a DSLR trying to be the whole Casey Neistat thing and I was like yeah I'm holding it in public and then I realized maybe this only works in in America because this looks really stupid in London be like what are you doing I'm like I don't know just I'm vlogging I'm trying to be professional now I use my phone. That's right. Boom. Vlogging. Now my only issue with gear is when it stops you from being creative. If you think you need fancy equipment and all the bells and whistles before you can actually start being creative, you've missed the whole point of creativity because that's where creativity shines and constraints and limitations when you don't have everything and you still gotta make it work. That's why we do this. And the gear, we build those bit by bit over the years. But that's just my thoughts. Till next time, cue my new thing.